So my husband and I share a closet. I don't recommend this for any new couples out there. Don't do it. It was a bad idea, but we're stuck with it. I've been trying to clean out this closet for the past eight months using the Marie Kondo decluttering method. I see some of you know it. If you don't know it, congratulations. You're supposed to put all your clothes on the bed and then you're supposed to go through each piece one at a time. And then if you, if you ask the magic question, does this spark joy? <laughs> if the answer is yes, you keep it. If the answer is no, then you take it to goodwill. Now, sadly, the Marie Kondo decluttering method only works on things, not people. <laughs> or else there'd be a lot of teenagers dropped off at the Goodwill. Um, sorry. So I got through my clothes and I told him I'd help him with his. So we got through one shirt of his. I held it up and he said, you want me to ask that shirt what? Does that shirt spark joy? What does that even mean? Does it mean do I like it? I don't know, you bought it. <laughs> Do you think this shirt sparks joy for me? I didn't even know this shirt was in this closet. This may not even be my shirt. Are you having an affair? Didn't go well. <laughs> so the only person having an affair in our house is our dog. <laughs> who thinks he's having an affair with me because my husband won't let the dog sleep in the bed with us. And when my husband goes out of town, I let the dog sleep with me. He's hairy, he snores, it's just like having my husband there. <laughs> but when my husband comes home, the dog knows he's done wrong. And he's broken the rules, so he will not make eye contact with my husband. <laughs> he just looks at the floor, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I slept with your wife, I am so sorry. There is another cleaning method that they do in Sweden. It's called Swedish death cleaning. This is a real thing. The premise behind Swedish death cleaning is you're supposed to get rid of all your clutter before you die so that you don't burden your loved ones with all your stuff, right? Well, I'm not doing it. I have cleaned up after these people way too long. Before I die, I'm gonna buy a giant warehouse. <laughs> and I'm going to fill it with dirty laundry. <laughs> Just stinky socks and wet towels and wadded up underwear. And then I'm gonna hide all my cash money in the dirty laundry. <laughs> to go through all the laundry to find the cash money. And then I'm gonna occasionally just stick a note in there that says, see, ha ha, isn't this fun? You should have picked up your socks. Don't do it. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? You can download it right now to watch my whole special.